character is famous as being the one that, that George has said is the one that he wished he had written the way you're playing it on the show. I love this man. I, every time I meet him, I hug him. I'm like, thank you for giving me a job. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm very uh, honoured that he said that. Well, what do you think that means? What do you think it means that, uh, that Osha's Maybe it's bad, be... maybe it's bad. Actually, maybe I shouldn't be hugging you. Maybe it's that I'm terrible. I don't know, I think in the books, she's a, a bit older, um, skinnier. You know, this person's like someone that probably hasn't eaten anything apart from a rat in the last three months. And she's kind of, yeah, she, I think in the book she's like in her 40s and wiry and kind of, so, you know, he kind of gave me a chance, a bit younger, a bit plumper. Thank you, George, again. Well, what do you think that means that your character's been doing out in the woods that maybe the book's character hadn't been doing? Oh, I think she's better at hunting, maybe. <laughs> I've been getting boars and stuff out there, you know? No squirrels for no you? No squirrels, fuck that. No, no, I'm going big game. <laughs> Now, this season, talk about where OSHA's going, because obviously it's sort of a road trip that you have this season. There is a bit of a road trip. Um, she's, she's, she's nurturing, that's what she's doing. She's saving, nurturing, and trying to sort out these children. That's what the, the journey is, I think. Is she good at that? I think she's very good. She gets a bit protective, in fact, a bit too protective. But, um, I mean, I think, of course, she can kill people. That, that, that's the definition of ultimate protector. You well, know, that's the definition of protection, but, but, but it's, yet, not, it's not nurturing necessarily. It's not, no, but she's lovely to him. She doesn't yeah, kill him anymore. It's just anyone that tries to harm him. Like a psychopathic mother bodyguard. And in most of your scenes, are you guys just wandering from one direction to the other? Yeah, there's a lot of walking. Okay. There's a lot of, I broke a heel. I had, for some reason, they gave me heel, like mini heels. I was like, she, she'd have bits of bandages or barefoot. But um, we walked so much up this one hill just all day. I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. And there was, just, there, was, there was nothing. There was no buildings. There was one cow. That was it. We were in the middle of nowhere. So that was quite a long day. And so how many of you are there in this sort of core group of acting? Are there five or six of you? Um, uh, so, yeah. Because there are a couple of the new guys as there's, well. Yeah, there's two more. So all, wait. Uh, including me, six. Um, and do you guys hang out offset? Is there sort of a bonding process that you yeah, have to go through? Yeah, of course. You're stuck in Belfast. You're, you know, in lo you know location. That's what I love about doing films on location is that you, you know, at the end of the day, you're all in the same hotel. You go for dinner together. You go for drinks, and it's. I, I like that atmosphere. You know, when you do other films, you know, you get picked up, you finish, and you go home. You know, it's not the same closeness. I love being. I'm, I'm doing a thing at the moment now in Turkey, and that's when we really bond. You know. Well, because then, it, with the case of Turkey, though, that's because you're sort of far away from everyone. Exactly. Right? Okay. Yeah, but Belfast does feel a bit detached. You know, it, it is. It's an island. I mean, it feels. It does feel very far away. And most of the time, we are in forests. So. Now, I've been asking people this because the production is in so many different pieces. Is there anyone from the Game of Thrones cast who you haven't met who you're looking forward to meeting tonight? Uh, no. Now I've already. I've, I've pretty much met everyone because we had an informal dinner last night. So there's a lot of people that I, you know I've, I have got to know. Um, who else? And the ones that I haven't got to know, I've got to know, because me and Una are best mates, we met on this job. And, and so the people that she meets, you know, we all go partying together in London. So we, we all are actually quite close. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.